In this video, I want to show you the rendering process of this building by using Lumion. Hello guys, welcome to Desire a School channel. My name is Milad and I'm glad to make this video for you. Today we are going to check the process of rendering an exterior scene in Lumion. But before starting this video, please support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Let's start the video. Import your 3D model and apply materials to all the surfaces. While apply any of the materials, I optimize them by adjusting color, relief, glossiness and reflection. Don't forget to apply weathering effect for each material. In this project, I am going to import a custom brick texture. For doing this, select the normal material for the place that you want to apply this material. And in the new material window, click on choose color map button and select the texture you prefer. Do same process for normal map and displacement map. In the next, to optimize materials settings, as an example for this brick material, I am going to reduce the glossiness and reflection amount because this brick doesn't have any reflection in reality. The next thing that I want to do is increasing the relief amount to make bumps more visible. Apply weathering effect on this brick material and choose the stone style for it. 0.1 is the right amount for this material. Sometimes texture needs rotation. In orientation tab, you can rotate texture in different directions. After applying materials, I am going to add some objects to the scene from Lumion library. Place some plants in the flower boxes in front of windows. After that, I want to place some building beside my project to fill the scene. Now I'm going to place some trees in a street. It's better to place some building in front of my project. This job affects on the reflection. Add some car to the scene. Ok, let's save some camera views. By changing the camera focal lens, you have more control on each frame. Fly in the scene and find the best angles you would like. Now it's time to add FX and FX into the scene. First of all, go to the camera tab and choose two point perspective. After that, I'm going to add reflection. Turn on a speed ray option. Now click on the edit reflection plane button. Then choose the surfaces in the model that needs accurate reflection. For example, glasses and metals. Apply shadow effect. First of all, turn on these two options, soft shadow and fine detail shadows. These two options make shadows look more smooth and real. In this render, I want direct sunlight on my building. Direct sunlight causes clear and dark shadows. To make these dark and bold shadows, I am going to decrease brightness ammo. Add hyper light effect. Set its amount to 50%. This effect causes surfaces reflect some light on each other. Now let's add a skylight effect. By heading a slider, you can change the position of a sky. In the effect menu, select a sky image. In a new window, you can choose one of these skies. Next effect is a skylight. Default brightness amount of this effect is enough, but I will decrease the saturation. The saturation slider controls the amounts of blue light that comes from the sky. Sharpen effect. Go to the camera tab and add sharpen effect. This effect makes the details of your render more obvious, but don't overdo in this option. Color correction effect. Find this effect in the advanced tab. I am going to make colors a little warmer by temperature slider and a little bit increase the brightness and contrast. You can adjust colors 
contrast and brightness of your render by this effect. Let's take a render. Very nice. Now I want to take other render shots with the same settings. To copy effects and settings for use in other shots, in the top side of a screen, click on the button and choose edit option. After that select copy effects. Now go to another camera view. Once again select the button in top of the screen. Then select edit and this time choose paste effects. As you see effects applied to this scene. For this scene, I prefer to try a clear sky and change sky direction to find an amazing light. Okay. Let's take a render. My render looks good right now. I'm satisfied with the result. Materials and lights look very good. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe.